Yeah, Chris Callot with 123 News. Now, we're going to look at our easy page loader. And this is a widget that allows um, for a, an overlay on the screen with a loading uh, animation. Um, and you can put a graphic in there if you wish as well. And the, the preloader will sit there, indicating that the page is loading until all the contents laid it, lo loaded, sorry, and then will fade out. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So this is a really simple page. It's just got a graphic and a background image. We're gonna to go to our library here. And if we type in here, this is easy. So there we go, easy page loader. And we're going to drop it into the corner. So this icon's designed to drop into the corner there. So it fits nice and neatly and doesn't interfere with your work. Let's take a look at the settings now. We can use a background image. Uh, we can add the loading animation and we can set the animation pause time. So how long it pauses once everything's loaded until it fades out. Uh, the loader image size, the loader background color. So the actual, the full coverage of the background that covers the page until it's loaded. We can pause, set the pause time on that as well. Load up the background image. And then we have these other settings to change it, whether it's repeating, um, change its background size, its positioning, and how far it is from left and top. And it uses um, percentages rather than just pixels so that this is also going to be suitable uh, as a responsive widget when the next version of Muse comes out. So let's go ahead and make some choice settings here. So first of all, I'm going to choose a color. So I've got this color already pre-done in there. We're going to switch background image on, and we're going to load up uh, our animation. Now we've included 20 SVG an animated SVGs to go along with this widget to get you started, but you could use a GIF, a PNG, whatever you want. Um, we've just given you some to get you started. And there is a link on the details page to um, a site where you can generate some really cool animations for preloaders. So we're going to load up number 15. That's the one we've chosen for this. And we'll change our pause settings to 5,000. Now the reason why we're doing this is purely to show you the uh, unit in action when we preview this, but usually I would set it to about um, 1,000. So let's change the size to 50. And then we're going to change our pausing here to 5,000. We're going to add a background uh, image as well. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and I should have a graphic. Here we go. This is the graphic I'm using. And we're going to set that to no repeat. And our sizing, we'll set it to percentage. And um, you could use cover, which will cover the whole screen or contain, which will just resize the image to sit within the um, the page container. So we'll set it to percentage and we're going to set it on this one to eight. And then the actual placement, we're going to use percentage left and top as well. And we're going to leave that at 50 and change this 38%. Now that's all done. And if we hit preview, so we get our graphic, our logo here positioned, our background color, color, our animation, and as you can see, it then fades out. We also have this available for, and it works nicely with tablet. So let's take a look at that in tablet view. When this uh, wants to, the preview wants to work. Here we go. So we've just changed some of the settings here to match the orientation in the tablet view. And then finally, let's take a look at the phone view. Let's refresh the preview. And here we go, have our mobile view. And the animation fades out. So there we've seen how to use the preloader, how to load up an animation, change some size settings, and how we can use it on all devices. Thanks for watching.